teacher talk in sports what it does what it do how we live in the 2023 nfl draft is coming up soon and todd mcshay and john parolin of espn uh, wrote an article this morning in which they looked at nine of the top quarterback prospects in that draft and compared them in various categories from the past college season. So those nine quarterbacks are Bryce Young of Alabama, C.J. Stroud of Ohio State, Will Levis of Kentucky, Anthony Richardson of Florida, Hendon Hooker of Tennessee, Jay Kaner of Fresno State, Tanner McKee of Stanford, Max Duggan of TCU, and Jaron Hall of BYU. So in this, we're going to quickly look at how the play, how those nine quarterbacks stacked up when it came to when the heat was on, uh, whether that was them being pressured or via the blitz. Um, they did various other categories. Maybe I'll quickly go over them at the end. But we're going to look at when they're pressured and when they're blitzed. So this is their QBR when they were pressured last season. Um, the two quarterbacks that many see as the top two quarterbacks in this draft are the two top ones. C.J. Stroud atop the board with Bryce Young second. See Max Duggan uh, leading TCU to the national championship game, finishing third. Jaron Hall of BYU and Hendon Hooker did not have good QBRs when pressured. Hendon Hooker was a Heisman Trophy hopeful before he had his major injury uh, Anthony Richardson and Will Levis kind of middle of the pack two guys who are also expected to go early in the draft and then if we look at QBR when blitzed we see Bryce Young 89.9 so he definitely was able to see the blitz as it's coming and make the correct read Hendon Hooker not far behind and again CJ Stroud near the top third Anthony Richardson second to last um, barely over average um, average QBR is 50 and Will Levis at 69.9 figure it would probably be higher if he didn't have the amount of turnovers he had this past season, of course, seen as one of his weaknesses. But again, Max Duggan near the top. He's not exactly seen as a top prospect in this draft. Maybe a guy who goes, I don't know, fifth, sixth round. Uh, really, four first round picks. Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, Will Levis, and Anthony Richardson, and a Hendon Hooker. Seen by most as quarterback five. Maybe goes in day two. But those are the top QBRs for the nine quarterbacks when it comes to when they're pressured and when they're blitzed. Um, this was ESPN Plus, so I didn't want to share the article. But quickly, I'll mention uh, some of the other categories they looked at. So who thrives when airing it out? Uh, hitting the deep ball 21-plus yards downfield. Jake Hayner had the highest completion percentage at 56. C.J. Stroud was at 50. Bryce Young, 45. Anthony Richardson, 41.5. Will Levis, 42.1. Off target percentage on those 21 plus yard throws. Bryce Young actually had the lowest at 25%. CJ Stroud was somewhere in the middle, 32.7. Anthony Richardson, 34%. Will Levis, 39.5%. Um, which quarterback hits spots the best? So off target percentage, short to intermediate. 10, 10 or fewer yards. Bryce Young, only 1.8% of his throws were off target. Easily the best. Um, C.J. Stroud was second to last at 6%. Anthony Richardson was last at 8.2%. Um, 11 to 20 yards downfield. Will Levis had the lowest um, off-target rate at 6.4%. Uh, total QBR inside the pocket. Jaron Hall actually led the way 91.4. Stroud was third at 86.3. Bryce Young, fourth, 82.6. Outside the pocket, Bryce Young easily the best at 95.7. Anthony Richardson had a very good one as well at 81. That was third. CJ Stroud, middle of the pack at 69. So um, using those numbers, does that change your mind about any of these prospects who you have as the best quarterback prospects in here uh, was there someone who didn't name who wasn't named that you think should be uh, amongst those top nine maybe like a Stetson Bennett let me know in the comments but the draft is coming soon NFL free agency has been awesome thus far don't forget to subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe like the video share the video hit the bell for notifications I'm out